Did you guys like my new intro? Um, I haven't had a new intro, well, I haven't had an intro at all in ages. So I thought that was cool. This is the first video with it, obviously. So today I just thought I'd head over to Truckloader 5, which for those who don't know what it is, um, it's a game where you load trucks. Uh, I don't know what you expected. But um, my friend recommended this to me a while ago. And um, I put it on my YouTube like video ideas list. And I've just got around to it. So I'm going to be voicing over that. So yeah guys, let's hop right into the video. I'll see you then. Bye. So guys, um, in this um, video I'm going to be playing through levels 1 to 10 of Truck Loader 5. So I've just hopped into level 1. Level 1 was very simple, very easy. Just one button and then put the box in the truck. That's it for level 1, as I said, very easy. Um, level 2 is slightly harder, you need to jump to press the blue button, but that's pretty much the only new thing. Trust me, it does get more exciting when you get back into some of the harder levels. So, yep, that's level two. Again, very easy. Level three gets a bit harder with a new mechanic that's knocking over boxes. For some reason, you can't move the big barrel unless you use the loader like, arm first, which is kind of odd, but you know. And then press the button and knock down the boxes. Probably the easiest one to load the truck because you don't even have to go near it. Level 4 is a bit more complicated because the uh, lot. Uh, I did a quick playthrough of some of the levels before, and the first time I didn't realize you had to um, put a box on the button so. Was a lot harder, but no, this time I figured I realized that that's what you meant to do, so it made it a lot easier. Um, this has surprisingly good physics. The that bigger box is harder to lift up with the arm, which is interesting, but yeah. So guys, now we move on to level five. Level five was um, is it's a bit hard to be honest. In. It's not like super hard, but it's it, it's the hardest level yet, which you would expect. But really, it's just getting um up onto the ledge and then getting the crates over your head with like a little space. It's kind of annoying. But, you know, I got it done in the end, one crate at a time. So, yeah, you just have to grab it and yeet it over your head and hope it will work. But, like, something that makes it a lot easier is you can, the arm can go anywhere, like, in the perimeter of the truck so that doesn't block your space which is it's good it makes it a lot easier yeah i fell over and almost got stuck but i just barely got up with the one crate so yeah pretty much i just grabbed that and put it in the truck that level is actually really hard if you do it on ipad but i'm on pc so 
it's it's a lot easier on PC. That's why I'm recording it on a tripod so I can record it on the PC. <laughs> but yeah. And that's pretty much the rest of level five. Now we move on to level six. And this this one's cool because this one introduces the explosive crates, which are really cool. You blow up the power boxes with them. And those are also predominant in the level handle with care, which is coming up. But yeah, this one, yeah, it, it's the start. It's pretty easy level, but it's a fun one with the mechanism and stuff. So yeah. Put it in the truck, so yeah, simple but effective that level. I think it's good. So, yeah, now we move on to level seven, which is another one where you don't have to do very much because the machines do most of the work, would you? They're interesting, these, but yeah, all you have to do is push the crates forward into the button, and then another one will drop through and the crate you push will be loaded into the machine. So yeah, this is another fun and effective but still pretty easy because the mechanism does all the work. But, you know, I like that. Oh, yeah. I accidentally bumped the tripod. I'm sorry. It's like that for the rest of the recording. And this one's cool because you can't, you have to kind of guess where the things you need were, and at, at the start, as you'll see in just a moment, I accidentally grabbed the basketball, but I didn't grab that again, so that's pretty good luck, because last time I played this as a brush over, I said in one of the earlier levels, I, I got the basketball quite a few times, so I've improved since then. Yeah, I it was annoying because I kept rolling down back towards me. The barrel and the crate both did that, to be honest. But the barrel stayed on me for this bit. But I dropped the crate down <laughs> back down when I'm up and it was just annoying. I wish the elevator was um like it wouldn't just continuously see I dropped the crate, but it wouldn't just continuously um, go up and down or she could press a button to control whether it came up and went off or down. But um, yeah. And uh, one of the features that not many people know about in this game is if like the arm gets stuck between the elevator and the floor, then the truck explodes. So you gotta be careful. That did happen in level five, but I edited that out. But yeah, see how I keep dropping the crate down. But yeah, I hope you've been enjoying this video thus thus far. Um, it's uh, I'm gonna do a few more of the these sorts of videos where um. I'm just playing a new game, I haven't played it before, not super good at it, but yeah, and next time I might not do a voiceover, I might just like, use the speech from when I was playing the game, but yeah, and I finally got it done, even though I fell over and could not get back up, until now. We only fit the crates kept bouncing back out, but I got it in the end. And a wave goodbye to the truck. This one's another one, and the mechanism really does the whole thing. You don't have to do a thing. But I think that's super cool how this works. I think it's great. Tripod moves again. Terribly sorry. 
and this one is the, the last level I'm doing today. Well, it doesn't actually end up being the last level I do today because I accidentally did level 11. But um, if this one's the one I was talking about that uses the explosive crate. It's cool. Uh, I really like them. And you have to send quite a few crates down the um conveyor to get it to work two explosive ones and one normal. And also this is the first level where you have to lift the really big box. And it's another one where you have to get it over your head in a cramped space, but I did manage to do it in the end. And you gotta be careful with those boxes because like you saw there, they blow up if you hit them on something. That's why it's called to handle with care. Yeah. So guys, uh, I might play, I'll play the next 20 levels of this, um, the next 10, and then one more 10 to finish it off, if you want me to. So make sure you leave a like and comment down below if you want me to, to play the next levels of Chocolate of Fire. And if this, if lots of people like this series, then I'll play Chocolate 1, 2, 3, and 4 as well. But that's a bit far for at the moment. Yeah, I use the fact that the, the top of the truck is like, that it's open roof uh, to my advantage here to get the crate in. But yeah, on computer, if you're, the arm can't quite reach into the truck to load the crate, it's a lot easier to throw it in, so it will slide to where you need to go. So guys, that's it for the video. As you can see there, I finished all the levels. And yeah, so with that guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!